Yo guys, of course, Nax here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best looking 3D text in Cinema 4D and Photoshop. And by the way, now first thing we are going to do is we are going to head into the Photoshop and we are going to do things in Photoshop and then we are going to get straight into Cinema 4D. So if you don't have Cinema 4D, you know, there are a lot of videos on YouTube how to download it for free, maybe or something. So yeah, it's not hard to download it. And by the way, for this tutorial, you will need a Cinema 4D 3D text Lightroom. And by the way, in my pack, which I will leave a link in description to, has 3D text Lightroom, as you can see. And this one is like one of the best 3D text Lightrooms ever. I'm using it on every single header that I make. And yeah, it's really good. So if you want to buy it, I recommend to buy my whole pack because it has a lot of PSDs, tutorial, tutorials, etc. But you can also buy just a Lightroom and I will leave uh, two links to both products in the description. So yeah, so make sure to check it out if you really want to follow all the steps that I do. And yeah, just get an, and if you just want to get a nice 3D text Lightroom. So yeah. All right. So we are just creating a project with 1920 by 1080 resolution and we are going to use font um, citation reports regular I hope I read it right I don't know if I'm mistaken just just I'm sorry uh, and we are I of course will leave the link to this font in the description so yeah and by the way we are going to make every letter separately and I will choose any name Jacko for this header so first J, I will just skip to the part when I actually make every single letter separately. All right, so every letter is done separately. And by the way, now what we are going to do is we are going to convert every single letter to, to smart object. And as you can see, we are doing it just like that. So we can just mess around with it. And we are going to rasterize these layers too. All right. And now what we are going to do is we are going to just mat match the shapes of the letters, if you know what I mean. So we go to edit, transform and warp. And as you can see, we are just matching these shapes. All right. Now we are going to go for A and we are going to do the same thing. All right. Now C, the same thing. All right. Okay. So warp, as you can see. And by the way, guys, if you think that I'm doing this tutorials too quick or something, just let me know. But because like I always, when I do client headers or just generally headers or graphics or anything on Photoshop, I just do it quickly. So if you think that these tutorials are too quick, just let me know and I will try to make it as as transparent as I can. But I think that if you really, really, if you really pay attention, that you will just learn with me. So yeah. All right. So actually, we can make this all look look better a bit, just like that. All right. And now we are going to add some nice um, PNGs to the text, so to give it like more like contrast or something. So I just downloaded like normal star shape from browser. So you can just go to your browser, any anything you have, like Google Chrome or Opera, Opera or anything you have, and just type star PNG and you will just get it. So yeah, we are going to put it in some nice places. So we can put it here. We can add another one here. All right, we can put another one, maybe, maybe like here. Here we can maybe add three, three of them. And by the way, if you don't know how to copy layers, because I don't know if right now I'm speaking to people that are already making banners or headers or text or anything, or if I'm talking to complete beginners, right? So, if you know, if you want to know how to copy layers, you click Control and J. If you didn't know that. All right, approve, and we can add it here. 
and we can add maybe one more right here we can maybe m mess around with it a bit so we can put it like here all right it's nice and maybe we can put one more in some nice place maybe here all right i think it's cool and what we are going to do now is we are going to hold shift at the first and the last layer of the text and we are going to right click and click convert to smart object and now what we are going to do is we are going to go here click control of click right click and quick selection tool and we are just going to select the text and then we go we right click make work path click ok and then go to file export and paths to illustrator and we are just going to save the text where, wherever you want so i'm going to just just call it jacko and what we are going to do now is we're going to open my 3d text lightroom as i said if you want to follow every single step that i do and if you just want to make it the best text ever just good text you know just make sure to just go to the description actually buy maybe just maybe a pack or just 3d text lightroom so yeah because it will really improve your design journey when i started using nice lightrooms i st like my design design career took off like l literally all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, click here on file and merge objects and we are going to get the text click ok and rotate it and we can put it higher a bit so you can put it here right and now you can just scroll it with your with your scroll on your mouse all right as you can see and now what we're going to do is we're going to hold here and click extrude and then you hold at the text and you and you and you let and you let it go when you see the arrow going down so you just leave it and then uh, you can just <clears throat> click here and now we can mess around with this 3d part So you can just mess around with the text a bit you can click here you can rotate it as you can see because I don't know if many of you know how Cinema 3d works <clears throat> But I think Cinema 3d is the best for making 3d text. So yeah, and now we here we can make the 3d part smaller a bit we can make may, maybe rotate it a bit on the right side. I think it will be better all right, I think it's nice. We can make it like this. All right, rotate it a bit. All right, I think it's nice. And now what we are going to do is we are going to render it. So I'm going to skip this part and I will get back to you when it will be rendered. All right, and after it's rendered, you're going to click file, save as, and there it has to be PNG, but if you get my Lightroom, it will be PNG automatically. And you click okay and you just save it wherever you want and now what we are going to do is we are going to do the, the same thing but we are going to go to the text i mean to extrude here and make where, where it says six we are going to make it zero and we are going to render it again all right and after it's rendered we are going to do the same thing so file save as and we are going to make it jacko 2 and now what you're going to do is you're going to go to back we're going to go we are going to get back to photoshop go to file new and create a new project 1920 by 1080 you can just copy my settings and click on it and we're actually going to make it dark All right we can actually delete this one and what we're going to do now is we're going to add this text. So let's go here. You can just drag it as, as you can see here and here. All right. And you can group it and make it stay in the middle. All right. It's nice. Uh, all right. And I think that we are going to make this text mm, dark and like orange colors. So yeah, let's go. Um, all right. So first thing that I'm always doing is I am taking care of 2D part. So we are going to go to the 2D part. As you can see, this part, not this part, but this part. And we're going to copy it. So click Ctrl and J. And we are going to choose 
some orange colors like that as you can see all right and we are just going to erase some of the letters because we are not going to make the text one just one color but we're going to make it couple colors all right as you can see all right here here we're just going to erase it like that and by the way guys if you have some ideas for like tutorials etc just make sure to maybe just join, join my discord server and there i have a channel with video ideas so you can share your op like your ideas and i will actually consider it and maybe make some some videos that you want because i really want to make videos that you want to make not the videos that i want to make so yeah just let me know and for this a a k we are going to make it let's see which color we can choose i was thinking about this one but maybe we can make it like purple but is it better which one is better uh, i think it's purple is better because it's colorful and colorful headers are always better and now we are going to basically do the same thing but with 3d part so we copy 3d part ctrl and j and then click ctrl and u click colorize and just make it orange as the 2d part all right and we are going to erase every single 3D part, which is not orange. So I'm just going to skip to the part when I actually finish it. All right, and after we've done that, we are going to go to the uh, another another part of the text so a and k and we're going to do the same thing but we are going to do the same thing but sorry if i'm speaking too quick but yeah just click ctrl and u again and we're going to make it purple and saturation or on full and just make the lightness lower just lower the lightness as you can see all right and now we can actually hold shift at the last and the first layer and convert it to smart object and we are going to get to my prestige graphics pack we can close this one and we can go to um, we can go to shapes and brushes and we are going to choose some nice brushes we can actually i think choose i re really like this one because it really goes nice with every single text that i do so this one is nice, but let's see, maybe we can choose another one. Yeah, but I think that, that this one is, is, is the best for 3D text. So yeah, we're going to copy it. So Control C and then Control V. All right, and we go with overlay. Yeah, I think overlay is the best. As you can see here and here, we can erase it a bit. And now what we actually can do too, is we can add not only overlay with like light colors, but we can make it dark too. So what we are going to do is we're going to just click it and color overlay and make it dark. And now just convert to smart object. As you can see, it, it is dark now. And we can just add it to some places. We can add it here. We can maybe add it here too. All right, it's cool. And now we are just going to group it and convert to smart object and copy it. So Control and J, then go to filter, filter gallery. And we are going to make it Chrome as always. All right, and we're going just to, to add some nice blending option to it. We can actually add subtract, it's nice. All right, as you can see, it's nice. And actually, we can make opacity lower a bit. All right. And what we're going to do now is we are going to add some nice textures to it. So we go to my prestige pack and we are going to go to textures um, here, all right, and dark. And we go with the first one. So just copy it 
create creepy mask. And let's just choose some nice blending option. So actually this one is nice. All right, we can copy it again. We can insert it here, clipping mask, and we can actually now mess around with something different with it. So we, can, we just click on it. And as you can see here, this layer, if you just open blending options, we go left side, to delete some parts of it. So there's like nice lines left out. All right, so here and here, it's nice. And we are converted, converting it to smart object, object. And we're going here and we are, we can add inner glow. And we are going to make the choke smaller and we can make it overlay. All right, it's nice. We can leave it like that, it's nice. And now we are basically going to, the, to, to do the same thing with 3D text, I mean 2D part. So we are going here, uh, we can actually go to shapes and brushes again and choose the same brush as we did previously. And we can make it like more, maybe dark. So like that, as you can see, and the same thing with the purple version. All right, we're going to make it like that, as you can see, all right. And we are going to group it now, convert it to smart object. And we click, we, we just click on the 2D part <clears throat> and we add Satan and we make it dark. By the way, if you just hear some noises now, right now, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, and we are just messing around with it a bit, as you can see. You can just copy my settings. Click OK, and then convert it to smart object. And we copy it, and then go to filter, filter gallery, <coughs> and go with Chrome again. Click OK, and we can add some nice blending mode to it. Which one would be best, actually? Um, this one, I think, is nice. All right. And just just hold shift at the first and the last layer, as always. And we can add some nice effects to it now. And actually, I think we are going to add a nice, <clears throat> nice stroke to it. But this stroke would be different than I always do on tutorials, so make sure to just pay attention now. We are going to go with bevel and emboss, and we, go, we are going to make it white, 90 degrees. So here, and we are doing the same thing, click OK, and then convert it to a smart object, and go with bevel and emboss again, but now make it minus 90, as you can see. And we are going to add drop shadow too, so go with dark color and make the distance higher. All right, it's nice. All right, and I think that would be it for it. We can actually maybe add some nice sorry for these noises, but people in my house are going crazy every single day, but yeah, it's live. Uh, and you just make some nice lights with it, as you can see here, here. We can add here, 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 and maybe here. Actually, we can make it maybe here too. All right, it's nice. And click linear dodge, and we can lower the opacity. All right, and I think it's that's it. I think I hope that the, the tutorial was helpful, and I hope that you will make banger 3D text after watching this tutorial. And as I said in the beginning, if you want to follow every step that I do, and if you just want to make the best 3D text possible make sure to buy my pack in the description it's real it's now on sale so make sure to buy it and yeah i think that's it and make sure to join my discord server too and yeah i see you in the next video